Two Broward County schools today dealing with two types of scares. And both disrupted the day for students and teachers. CBS 4's Ted Scout is live in Fort Lauderdale with the details on both incidents. Ted. Francis and Elliot at Everglades High School in Miramar. They're dealing with someone there who is making a threat on social media. He has since been arrested. Now, here at Dillard High School, this is in Fort Lauderdale, they were on a code red lockdown with reports of a gun on campus. Police going room to room at Dillard High School, searching for someone with a gun on campus. I was thinking about my life, because I thought somebody was going to like shoot up the place. Kaya Robinson and three others were in a room off the gym without a lock. They came up with a quick plan to lock themselves in and waited for police. We had to like lock ourselves in, and we had to use like an extension cord and like tie it around the door and stuff. <laughs> Armed officers led students to safe areas around campus. They first got the alarming call about 9:30, prompting a code red lock. Down. We received a 911 call. An anonymous caller claimed that a student at Dillard High had a gun in his waistband and that he was showing it to other students. Police finally gave the all clear just before noon, finding nothing after searching classrooms and students. We all put our hands in the air. They told the students they were sitting down to get up and. We got up. I was one of the students to be selected to be frisked. And I was frisked. They checked their bags. Please have your IDs ready. Parents began getting frantic calls and texts from their kids. They raced to the school. I'm pissed off. That's what I am. Because this just seemed, seemed to keep happening. It was just a few weeks ago when a 12 year old was arrested here, accused of bringing a BB gun to school and pulling it on a staff member. This also comes as Everglades High School in Miramar is dealing with the threat. Smiling in his mugshot, 28-year-old Javari Merriweather is accused of threatening to shoot up the school. Aside from having school resource officers already assigned to the schools, uh, we've also um, dedicated additional staff, police staff and personnel to be in and around the school. Now, here at Dillard High School in Fort Lauderdale, this is what investigators are trying to figure out right now. Was that 911 call a hoax or was there actually a gun on campus and they just didn't find it? Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.